Today we are in the beginning of a journey towards more sustainable and nutritious foods based on plant proteins. And in particular we want to strive for tasty and attractive food products. When you want to analyse your protein products and raw materials, you really need all scales you need to go up to micrometers to see how they aggregate and to millimetres to see how the fibres form and what they look like. Sometimes we get the question, can you come up with new ideas? <laughs> that is really the best, because then, then we can be creative and we can work as partner with the companies and really do some new developments. RICE has a long expertise in performing LCA, which can be used both to improve existing products and as a tool in the early stages of product development. We often start by making a target product profile, so we describe the most critical attributes of texture, taste, performance in cooking, and from that we then go back to what do we need from a process and from an ingredient perspective. We know what works, but we don't know if other proteins work or not, and that is a big task to find out. In most cases, plant-based meat analogues have a lower environmental impact compared to animal-based alternatives. But there is a wide variation within the product group. And this depends on factors such as the choice of raw material, the protein yield, the processing technique, and also the type and amount of energy used in the process. We also need to verify, does it taste good? Is it healthy? The most important uh, instruments are humans. So we have sensory panels who are trained at taste and consistency uh, and flavor. So you need to have this analysis at all the different levels really. It needs to be done before you put it on the market. In RICE, with our active participation in research projects, we are updated with the latest research and knowledge within the field with the aim to accelerate the transition towards more sustainable food systems.